In this Photoshop demo, I'm gonna show you one of the most complicated things to select, which is hair, and how to do it in a very seamless, um, non-aggravating way. It's actually really easy to do if you know the tricks. So today, you're gonna to learn those tricks. I'm gonna to go to File and Open, and I will find my Chapter 5 folder here. 5.5 is Selection and, or select and mask selection. So I have three photos. Here's my background of the scene on the farm. Here's one of the farmers we're gonna use, my wife. And here's a um, animal that we wanna put on the farm. So I'm gonna start down here, select all three and open those. We wanna put this animal and this person on this farm. Okay, so let's go with the first one. Really complicated shape. So here's one of the easiest methods that they've made here in Adobe. I can literally go to any selection tool, whether it's the rectangle or the lassos or the magic wand, doesn't matter. And there is a button called select subject right up here at the top. You can see a little arrow. I'll just keep it on device. I'm gonna click select subject. That is pretty smart. But you can see it doesn't go around all these hairs. It gets just a rough selection. So what the trick is, is you stay on your selection tool and then right next to that is select and mask. I'm gonna click that button and it takes me into the refining window. So right over here on the right, I wanna view this character on black, okay? I click right above the name so I can get that little pop-up list off. When you have loose, what they call flyaway hairs, you wanna come down to edge detection. Turn on your smart radius and set the radius to one pixel. Hairs are thin, so one pixel ought to do it. Down below, see these are divided in sections. You have a refine mode section for color. You have the edge detection section. Turn on smart radius. Set the radius to one for loose strands of hair. Now you have global refinements. What you want to do when you are cutting out a figure is you don't wanna see the original background. So I'm gonna shift the edge of our selection a little bit to the left, about negative 7%. That's gonna slightly force it to carve into the edge of the figure. Then down below that is this final section called output settings. For loose strands of hair, you wanna turn on decontaminate colors. Now keep in mind, after you have set up all of this, you haven't done anything yet, so you can't click OK. You haven't even started yet. You've just set things up for what you're gonna do next. Okay, right up here in the upper left, the second tool down is called the Refine Radius or Refine Edge Brush. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna come out here, and all I'm gonna do is skim the edge of the neck, kind of half on and half off. I'll skim the edge of the neck right there, and then I let go and see what it does. I'm gonna zoom in right here, kind of see what that does to the neck. Not gonna worry about that yet. I'm gonna keep going right up in here, let go, hold my space bar and pull this down. I'm gonna click and drag left and right, kind of combing this animal's hair. Let go, watch it catch up. Click and drag left and right, left and right, and comb the hair out right there. I'll click and drag left, up and down, right there, kind of with the angles of the hairs. Look at that, that is beautiful. I don't like this area right here, so I'm gonna hold my Option or Alt key and scrape that out right there for now, okay? 
I'll hold option or I'll see if we can scrape that out a little bit more. Okay, that's gonna stay. So let's scrape over it one more time. Ooh, that looks better. Love it, love it. All right, let's keep scraping a little bit at a time and then you let go and see the results. Let Photoshop catch up to you. A little bit at a time right here. Let go, let Photoshop catch up. Do a little bit at a time right over here. Kind of scrape out all these dark spaces in the hair. Let go, let Photoshop refine that edge. We'll scrape out a little bit right down in here, right along the nose, okay? I don't like this, so I'm gonna hold my Option or Alt key and scrape out that area. There we go, kind of clean that up a little bit. I'm gonna scrape just along the tip because there's just a few little loose hairs right there. Let go and let Photoshop catch up. Scrape just along the edges because there's not a lot of long hairs right here. Let go and let Photoshop catch up. There's a lot of calculations going on here. So every now and then, let go. Let Photoshop kind of catch up to you. Don't try to go around the whole thing. That's why I zoomed in. I want to see these details right along the neck because that's a bunch of short hair anyway. I really don't like this. So I'm gonna hold my Option or Alt key and scrape along that edge right there. That'll clean it up a little better. I don't like this, so I'll hold Option or Alt and scrape right along there, kind of clean it up a little bit more. And now I zoom back out. Look at all those beautiful hairs. <coughs> I like that. So, right down here at the bottom, it says new layer with layer mask. I'm gonna click okay. And what that actually did is it kept my original photo and now it made a copy with a layer mask. Okay, what I would suggest is I found a little glitch in this process. Okay, this layer mask, as you've seen before, it erases wherever you paint with black. But what it tends to do is leave a little bit of pixels right along the outer edge. So sometimes you could drag this photo up to your final scene and you'll see a weird little white outline. We don't want that. So I click on my layer mask, D for default colors, X for black, and I take my brush. If I'm inside the photo, I can resize the brush a little bigger. And then I just paint, scrape off any pixels along that top edge, scrape off any pixels. Even though you don't see it happening, trust me, they're there. I'll scrape them off right here, right up to the edge of the neck. I'll scrape them off and I'll scrape them up the side. You just wanna make sure there's no pixels anywhere around the edges of that photo. When you are done, you go to your move tool, click once on the mask, click on the trash and Photoshop is gonna say, what do you want me to do with the mask? Do you want to apply your changes? Do you wanna permanently delete the background? Apply. Now with my move tool, I can move this guy all the way up to number three wait a second and drop it back in. We'll put this <coughs> right over here. That looks pretty nice. Little animal walking right up to us. Okay, I don't need number one anymore, but just in case, I'll just keep it there. Let's go to file number two. Let's do the same thing. I'm gonna go to a selection tool, select the subject, Jump right next to that, select and mask. This comes up with the same exact setting. So I wanna view her on black. I click right above to get rid of that view list. She has loose kind of flyaway hairs. So I'm gonna say edge detection, smart radius. Radius will be one pixel for little flyaway hairs. 
I never want to see the background come through, so I shift the edge a little bit to the left, like negative six or seven percent. And for the loose strands of hair, decontaminate the colors. You could already see that looks so much better, and I didn't even do anything yet. So now I take my refine edge brush right here. I'll make it just a little bit bigger. And when you have pretty clean edges, just stay right along the edge like that. Like barely touch the edge of her head right there. Because there's not a lot of loose hairs. Okay, when I get some of the more loose hairs, then I want to carve into that. I want to paint right in there. Cut out any blank spaces. I want to paint right around these loose hairs. Let go and let it catch up let go and let it catch up let go and let it catch up and I'm gonna keep painting through these little open spaces I'm gonna paint left and right like I'm combing the hair go up into that blank space right there in her hair right up into there and that is gonna look great as a cutout so again new layer with layer mask I click OK just like I said before you take your brush and you scrape away those little pixels along the edges. Here's my layer mask. D for default. X for black. And I just paint right along that edge. Scrape any pixels. Scrape them off the top edge. Scrape them off the side right down here. You don't want those showing up in your final artwork. Once you're done with the layer mask, Click on it once right here. Click on the trash and apply. Permanently delete the background behind your photo. You switch to the move tool like everything else. Drag her up. Wait a second. And drop her in. Okay, obviously they're too big and we're missing the shoulder. So she's going to have to go off to the right. Command T to transform. You want to make sure you can see that corner so you can pull that down. Kind of put her in the scene right there. And I'll hit enter or return. I'll just take her and put her under the picture of the animal. Because then that animal's neck will cover up her kind of amputated arm right there. Okay, so they're hanging out on the farm. Beautiful little composition. I can go to the background layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We'll just tone that out a little bit, soften up the details. Maybe I'll crank that up to around a 20. And now we've got nice focused images on the uh, subdued background of the farm. And that's how you do your cutouts here with hair in Photoshop so now I don't need her anymore don't need to save her now I click here I don't need to save this guy anymore and there's our final layout cool beautiful cutouts with nice hair awesome I'm gonna go to file menu save a copy as I always do We'll set that to a JPEG on the desktop, and I'm just going to type in my last name, first name, uh, selecting hair. I save it as a high-quality JPEG, and that's how you deal with hair. Now, the only other thing I want to show you is if there are any unsightly areas deal with them notice this little spot on her forehead that's a weird dark spot from probably a blur on the lens there is my spot healing brush i can go to her layer spot that out but again remember if i made that change that was the original photo so if you do any changes like that you gotta re-save it again File menu, save a copy on my desktop. And I just have to type in the same name. Nielsen, Chris, selecting hair. 
as a JPEG. I will replace the old one. And there we go. A day out on the farm here in Photoshop. Have fun.